It's here. That's right, it's 1.19 time. Hello, I'm Zandalion. Thank you so much for joining me as I explore Minecraft 1.19 for the very first time. From what we saw in Minecraft Live and from what I've read in the change logs, there's lots to look out for as we play the game. The first of which, of course, is a brand new menu screen emphasizing the swamp setting. We've heard about the frogs, I see one down there in the corner, so let's dive right in. I'm super excited to see some of the new mobs, the LA, maybe the warden. There's new achievements, there's new music, the frogs, the mud, the goat horn. There's so much to look out for. There's mangroves, there's new biomes. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right, so we're in the desert. Oh, okay, something I'm so excited about. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna swim over here. So let's get some wood. I have heard that a boat with a chest inside is an option. So I'm thinking if we make our chest and we make our boat. Oh, <gasps> yes. I, this is gonna be so handy. You really get a sense of exploration. They want you to explore. They want you to take stuff with you. Okay, so then if I break this, there we go, boat with a chest. So then, how do, you, how do you open the chest, though? Okay, so that's gonna take a little practice. I might just be missing something. But, anyways, let's continue onwards. I started playing Minecraft a good number of years ago, at least 10 years ago, maybe more. And so to see this amount of detail is just so wild. Oh boy. Yep, it, it's wild. <laughs> This is the wild update. I love the nostalgia of Minecraft. I love your classic Minecraft, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, just seeing all this depth and how much more has come to this game, how much it's developed. Or like not even developed, it's just grown. Minecraft as a whole has grown so much. And it's, it's wild. I hate to keep using the word wild, but is this new music? Is this new? Is this new music? There's something so peaceful about the music. Like it makes me it makes me want to stop like on top of a, a cliff at sunset and just like look and be like, wow, what a world. Nothing beats the classic Minecraft music, but this is just you know, there's something very special about this. This track, fascinatingly, or at least fascinating to me, it gives me a feeling of nostalgia. But at the same time, I know it's new. It captures that, that Minecraft essence that's true to its core that comes with those original tracks. It gives me that original sense, but it also tells me, you know, that we're turning a corner in the way that Minecraft develops. And that's just really, it's something, you know? It's really interesting. I don't want to lose what makes this game so special. All because of this freaking music track that sounds so nostalgic. <laughs> Huh? Is this the deep dark? Oh, maybe that's the deep dark. Oh, there it is. And so we glitch. I'm gonna die to a glitch. Ah! <laughs> See where we spawn? Back in the sand. Okay. For the next part of our exploration, I've gone into creative mode so we can really get into looking around and finding all the new things and all the new changes, or at least as many as we can. If I go down in here, will I find a warden? Is this deep enough? How deep must I go? So, you see, I feel like we're getting pretty deep and I should somewhere in here be able to find a warden. Which is awoken. I cannot see until I, I place a torch down. Like, I have no clue where I'm headed. Oh my gosh! I... <laughs> I kid you not, I just jumped. I, I literally jump scared myself because I couldn't, I cannot see. 
and that just fell and then I ran into my torch. This has absolutely 110% gotta be the deep dark. So it may not exactly be the deep dark, but since we're down in a place that's deep and pretty dark, let's try out some of the new blocks that come in this new biome. Skulk. It makes a very interesting sound when you place it down. Skulk sensor. Whoa. <gasps> Sneak 100! That's one of the brand new uh, achievements. Okay, so then we have a... Whoa. So this is another type of sensor, I believe. So if I walk next to that... Wow, that's crazy. Skulk Catalyst. Wow. Those, if I walk by one of these, it sends a signal over there. What? Skulk veins are... <laughs> okay, so these are kind of like a new vine of sorts. Wow, I can see how this in the dark would be definitely one of the scariest biomes in Minecraft. If you're just walking in a place you can barely see and you start getting those noises. That's insane. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so tall. Let me get a, a diamond axe. I'm gonna go into survival. Let's see what damage the warden can do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it went dark. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that was actually scary. Oh my gosh. Whoa. The warden is so tall and just lunges right at you, practically teleports to you. I wasn't expecting that at all. The noises that the skulk blocks make and all the skulk sensors, it's a whole experience. Okay, so I really want to find the frogs and the other thing we have to look at is the mangroves. This looks like it might have what we are looking for. Oh my gosh, a baby horse, two baby horse. I, Minecraft is great. And now my computer is displaying how massive 1.19 is as an update. Wow. Okay, so I think it's time to look at the second new mob. The LA, of course, the winner of the infamous Minecraft Live mob vote. So according to the change log that I've read, you can find it in pillager outposts and woodland mansions. I'm not sure I'm gonna find one of those. So instead, I'm gonna spawn one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's that's really nice. So <laughs> that's so lovely. So let's play our note block. Let's see if the LA comes. Oh, I see it's sending a note to it. Hey, we gave it a cookie. So now, let's drop some cookies. <gasps> it picked it up. <gasps> it gave me the cookie. Yay! Oh, you've got a friend in me! The ultimate test. Hello! Hello! Cookies! Oh, look at them picking up the cookies and giving them back. They're just so joyful. Thank you for the cookies! Alright, so the next thing we're gonna look at, another new mob, the frog. I'm super excited to see how the frogs work in Minecraft. There's apparently three different types. Temperate frogs, warm frogs, and cold frogs. I'm not sure if all three will spawn in this biome, but let's find out. Ooh. Okay, so we seem to be spawning one type. But very cool. Lots of frogs. And they lay eggs called frog spawn, which I have some here. And we can place them down. They lay kind of like lily pads but they don't have the same physics as them, which makes sense. <gasps> Tadpoles! Hello, LA. <laughs> I don't know where your, your other LA friend went. Wow, they really jump. Okay, so then the next thing is the frog light blocks, which 
when I put them into my inventory, it gives me a really cool challenge uh, accomplishment. We have the ochre frog light. I definitely see the, the change in the glow. Then we have the verdant frog light and the pearlescent frog light. Very interesting. I like the, the gradient textures on them. So the next thing on my list is the mangrove. So usually these are in swamps, but this is, I believe, what the sapling is, except it's not called a sapling, it's called a mangrove propolog. So I wonder, yes, there we go. Wow, that's really expansive. So this looks almost like a root. They're, they look hollow, which is very interesting. They almost sound like paper when you break them. This is a very detailed tree. And, you know, there's so many new objects. There's planks, there's button slabs. All right, so next up in our 119 reaction is mud. We have a mud block. Kind of has like a sticky sound when you place it. Then we get a few different things from mud as well. So this is going to be a brick slab, packed mud, mud bricks, mud brick stairs, and the mud brick wall. Next on our list we have a goat horn. There are so many different sounds that can be made with these and they're all made with different horns. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's so interesting. That's very cool. Wow. Whoa. Wow. I just saw a frog jump very high in the background. I feel like these goat horns are going to be a very interesting addition into Minecraft and they'd be especially great if you're playing with other players or friends perhaps and you hear, like, like you can almost call out to each other. That's very cool. I wonder how far away these can be heard. So then I think these are the last on our list, the recovery compass and the echo shards. So the recovery compass and the echo shards both definitely follow that palette of the uh, the skulk, all the skulk items, the skulk sensors, and the blocks. So I definitely think this has some links to the deep dark. So the recovery compass can help you find where you last died. So this is currently pointing to where the warden just absolutely scared the heck out of me. So I don't think we'll be going back there. That includes my reaction to, and I guess review, of Minecraft 1.19. This is truly a... I'm gonna use it again. This is a wild update. It really is. It has so many details and so many really cool additions. There's just so much to, to look at and to explore in this update. This in 1.18, both 1 and 2, just really, I think, draw on the feeling of exploration and wanting you to really look around at all that Minecraft has to offer. And on that note, there is a new music disc, so I think, I think we're gonna play ourselves out on that. So let's place down our jukebox, and let's listen to five. Whoa! Oh, that's very interesting. It opens with something that really gives itself to the deep dark and to the warden and just that horror kind of tone. And then it kind of goes back into the original C418 music. We're kind of shifting in and out between these two different worlds. It's definitely a very interesting and diverse group of sounds on this disc. Well, that concludes my reaction to Minecraft 1.19. I really hope you enjoy this video, and thanks so much for exploring the new update with me. This is Zandaline, out.